Hello, this is Dr. J back with some more Let's Play Quest for Heroes 2G Remaster Edition and some of the most epic music in the game. Here at the Zakoto Ruins, where I think we can complete the first of our quests at the Ancient Labyrinth, which is buying an Inro, right? I don't remember what category Inro was. Apparently not the consumable category. They're at 440,000. I'm never going to be able to afford that. Do I really have to buy it? Or can I get one as a drop? That's insanely expensive. Do I really have to, to grind for this thing? Wow, I had not remembered how expensive it is. Uh, okay, let's enter the labyrinth and hope we can get one there. We probably can. Because we were able to get a a paper lantern in the labyrinth, so we didn't have to pay for it. Alright, well, in we go then. Hopefully for the last time, because as cool as this place is, I, uh, I definitely feel dumb with it after this. All right, well, we know that there's three quests in here. One is the Dark Dragon, one is the Enro. What was the last one? Uh, defeat the Cursed Dragon. So there's actually two dragon ones, Cursed Dragon and Dark Dragon. Could be anywhere. Absolutely anywhere. I'll take the long way around, because this is another place that's good for farming money. So if we can get into a few fights and restock our G a bit, that would be good. Though it seems we're not going to get into a single fight here. Oh, we finally did. I don't think... I don't know, do these guys drop money? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure the worms don't. The carrots might. Okay, yeah, the carrots drop a decent amount. Pretty sure it came from them and not the worms. Not that evil monster carrots having money makes much more sense than grotesque worms having it. There's nowhere, like, super obvious that I would expect to see a, uh, a quest here. You know, no, not much in the way of big, empty 3x3 three three rooms and the like where you often see them. There's this. We already got a quest item here. The golden egg was, I think, in this alcove. But that doesn't mean there couldn't be another quest here, so... And we'll go on foot for the sake of more fights and just to see if we run into any of the other quests en route. Nothing from the looks of things. Nope, okay. Well, upstairs we go then. The Sosaris. Uh, they were... They were Volt aligned, right? So I think I want to hit them with Quake. Or no, they're water. They're water, so I want to hit him with full. That's what it was. Of course, no, our physical attacks are powerful enough. It doesn't matter that much. This is a case where I don't mind if the random encounter rate decides to be high, because I like being able to get all the gold from these enemies. Okay, we encountered nothing on the first two floors. 
Well, let's uh, start exploring here, see if there's anything in this suspicious dead end. Nope. Okay, never mind. The uh, grotesque worms have tons of gold after all. Unexpected. Okay, maybe something here, because this is a dead end. Oh, no magic for us. Dead. Oh, there's carrots back there. Doesn't matter, they're dead. Pretty good gold there. Okay, nothing in this dead end. Uh, Alright, let's try this dead end. A single grotesque worm shows up, ambushes us for one damage, and then dies horribly. What a short and brutal existence. It had its moment of glory. It successfully hit us and did a point of damage to us. Alright, and we found one of the quests. Which one is this, then? Is this, uh... Is that Dory? No, it's a Cursed Dragon. Okay, I didn't think it looked anything like Dory. But, you know, if she, uh, turned evil and started wanting to eat humans, who knows what that could do to her appearance. Okay. Sounds good. You should have greeted us when we entered the labyrinth, Tiramisu. Oh, hang on. I've got a, a text to respond to real quick. Just a moment. Okay, sorry about that. So, let's assume it's tough. It gets the awesome mini-boss music that's maybe my favorite tune in the game. Impenetrable wall, focus, focus. Turn on true sight, focus. Cursed Dragon would probably be wholly vulnerable, I would assume. Man, this music is so cool. Considering how silly this game usually is, this almost sounds too badass and epic. <laughs> Have a powered up gleam. Oh, silenced it. Nice. That seems to be doing just as well as the, uh... This as well as, uh, um... Nunchucks, really. Okay, that was easy. 4,500 gold, pretty good. Okay, so she was wanting to get herself cursed. I see. Well, in that case, Tiramisu, that, that actually wasn't an evil request after all. Good job! And we killed the Cursed Dragon. Was that really a nice thing to do? The Cursed Dragon was just sitting here minding its own business, as far as I'm aware. We can't do that yet, Tiramisu. We have two more quests we have to do in here. Alright, next. Oops, that was what I wanted. Okay, maybe one of the others is in one of these boss chambers. Or in this chamber.
die carrot scum. Nice gold. That was a ton of gold. You want a piece? Sure, I'll take all comers. Majin Fu. Let's see if we can take him without having to use magic. They're pretty tough. Down it goes. And down they go. Nope, nothing in here. Okay, maybe in the boss chambers. I'm really hoping to find a uh, one of those items in here, because, oh my lord, it would take so long to farm 440,000 G. And then to have to blow it on a quest item, for which you just know you're going to get a reward. It's not worth even a fraction of that. So it's almost like just flushing the money down the toilet. Aisha gained a level. Gained Vite? Lost? Okay, losing your prime stat's not great. Terrible hit point roll. Pretty garbage level, all told. She gets a lot of those. We love her anyway. Yakisoba bread acquired. Huh. Huh. Well then. Well then. Now I'm at a bit of a loss. We've explored this pretty thoroughly, I think. This level, I mean. We have to, you have to go through most of it to reach the end there. We already checked that, and there was indeed a quest here. We checked this, and there wasn't. Checked this, and there wasn't. So we've pretty much checked the place out. Unless there was, like, one in one of these alcoves, or in here, or some nonsense. Otherwise, yeah, at a little bit of a loss. Anything to the left or right? Nope. How about here? Well, there's some enemies. Okay, maybe I should get serious. This is actually kind of a tough enemy group. Put up the wall. Focus, focus. You actually start throwing out some magic. Got him. This is another enemy group. Oh wow, Candy's kind of messed up. Probably should do something about that. Good enough. Okay, huh, so... As far as I can tell, there was only the one quest here on the third floor. So I must have missed something on one of these floors. Good lord, it could be anywhere. I mean, look at what a labyrinth this place is. We checked here, and it wasn't there. Alright, well, we're just gonna have to check every nook and cranny then. Nothing in there. Uh, let's check down here, I suppose. Nice job, you did a point of damage. Anything at the end of one of these dead ends? 
Haven't seen you in a while. Dead. No trap. Is that true? I'll tell you what, just unlock it, Sherry. Shattered mace. I could make another mace with that, although is there any reason to? Not really. It's a good weapon on uh, Wheeler, but Candy has better ones. Okay, nothing there. Hmm. Uh, wow. So many places to check. Uh, huh. Okay, I guess we can check in that little closet. Now, what would be kind of disastrous is if that, um... That one item that costs 440000 at the trading post doesn't have a quest and you literally just have to spend the money on it. That would be awful. I'm not expecting that to be the case. But you never know. Candy gained a level? Okay, tons of hit points. And gained a meaningless stat, but did- well, not completely meaningless. I think Faith contributes to magic resistance, but not a prime stat for her. But she didn't lose anything, and she got a lot of hit points, so that's a good level. Okay, uh... So many places to check. Nothing there. Nothing there. Uh... Nothing there. Hey, we got a soul mask. We don't need it anymore, but we got one. Wheeler gained a level and gained a mediocre amount of hit points. Well, whatever. He didn't lose anything. Sure. Let's get in a fight. Single cheerful bomber is going to be a pretty wasted fight. Yeah, it doesn't even drop gold. All that did was hurt Grum and waste some MP. Whatever. Okay. Uh, Alright, we'll dead end here so we can check this. Nothing. Oh, here's an enemy group. Let's uh, kill him with Blazing Fist. We have a lot of affinity. Tordia! Oh wow, how dare you survive? Not anymore. Seraphi gained a level, lost fight, gained agi, learned new magic, got decent hit points. Okay. Not the best level, not the worst. What's your new magic? I'm thinking she probably has all the attack magic she's ever going to get. Boom and mass death. I don't imagine there's anything beyond those. Uh, she already had Medicure. We know that. She already had, I think, all this. So I guess whatever the new thing is must be support magic. She already had all this. She already had Nullio. Dispel? Is that the new one? Or Dispelius. Maybe one of these. Reduce enemy magic resistance. Okay, I could see that being useful. Could definitely see circumstances where we might want to bust out with that. Okay, what if there's a quest right here? Okay, there's not. Uh, how about down here? No, I don't want to pass through the gate. Okay, well, there was a fight. Maybe here. Let's try it. 
Crystals, get wrecked. Stop beating up Grom. Stone. Ah, eh, just unlock it. Sure, it really has the hit points to spare. We got a Karate Top and a Light Sling minus five. I don't think either of those are good. But let's check. No, that doesn't look amazing. The Light Sling is terrible, as I thought. Yeah, big accuracy reduction. Okay, and she can't even wear it. Well, just in case we're about to stumble into a nasty fight or something, unlikely as that seems. Nope. Nothing. Okay, could be one of these little closets, maybe. Alright, we got an ambush. Yeah, I remembered those Herbies are pretty, uh, physical resistant. Oh wow, did it even only take one damage from the breath? I went through it kind of fast, but... Oh, pretty good gold, though. How much are we up to now, anyway? You know, it would be faster if I would actually bother to use magic on it or something. There. I should probably heal a bit. There we go. We're up to 70,000. Pretty good. Nothing. And just a fight. Okay, I think I've checked most of the dead ends and stuff. Checked the west pretty thoroughly. I don't think there's too much on this floor that I haven't checked now. Oh, I stumbled into it. Okay, this must be for the, uh, um, the item. Good, so I won't have to spend 440000 Nice eyebrows, by the way. I, I, I can't argue with him. You? Uh, that was that was pretty clear from the start. Oh. Wow, you guys get unique uh, portraits. That's pretty cool. Th this has to be referencing something. Yeah, Inro, that's what it was called. The undead attack us. And they get the goofy music. Alright, well let's, uh, as usual, take it seriously. You know, you could almost be kind of scary looking, skeleton dude. Almost. Yeah, you've got hit points. I'll give you that. You're pretty tough. Not tough enough to stand up to the amplified gleam, though. Komon sama.
Oh wow, he stood up to the Amplified Gleam, but then he got finished off. Grum Kill Stole. Love it. Only the Twitchy Ninja remains. And I'm sure he'll go down this turn. Sure enough. The Amplified Gleam is brutal on the undead. Ooh, great gold. Thank you for us not having to spend 440000 on that. Bye guys. Okay, nice. Only one to go. I'm thinking it's not here on the second floor, because we have explored this pretty thoroughly, it seems. So, somewhere on the first floor, I guess, is where I'm guessing the most dramatic and possibly tragic quest is going to take place. Because although this game is usually silly and lighthearted, it wouldn't surprise me, and I have a vague memory that I don't trust much, that the whole Dory uh, subplot ends tragically and ends up being quite sad and there's possibly asty tears involved but again i don't i don't trust that memory particularly could just be making it up but still i think we can all agree that we could see it going in that direction okay we stumbled right onto it wow that's a pretty random place i wouldn't expect a huge dark dragon to just be chilling at a cramped intersection like this, but sure. Alright, let's brace ourselves for some possible emotional trauma. Alright, so it's actually Asti we encountered here, rather than Dory. So I hate to have to tell you this, Asti, because you seem like a real sweetheart, but thinking that you could raise a vegetarian dragon pet might have been pretty naive from the start. I mean, think about it. I mean, you might want to emotionally prepare yourself, Asti. We might have to kill Dory. I wonder if it's possible to trigger this without having talked to Galanus and acquired that information. That's an interesting thought. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, she's running off. Don't get yourself eaten. Great, this is a uh, multi-stage quest I see. Oh. Oh, I see. I followed her right through a teleporter. Where, oh, where did Dory and Asti go? Let's hope that Asti doesn't get eaten. I feel an urgency to track them down. Oh, 66 damage. That was kind of considerable. Actually did some damage. We got good gold out of it, though. Grum's the only one who got hurt particularly. Ugh, they could be anywhere. I don't know if I'm barking up the wrong tree by going through the teleporter or what. Okay, a so-so level. Not a terrible hit point roll, I think. Thank you. 
where would I be if I were a crazed dark dragon that had been trying a vegetarian diet that drove me to homicidal rage? I mean, I don't think I would be in a cramped dungeon like this at all, but if I were, what part of it would I be in? Maybe I should be checking closer to where I found Asti. Uh oh, we got ambushed. Okay, they didn't do too much damage. Die, Rainbow and Scum. Ooh, Black Gold. That was a great drop. Good synthesis item. Maybe back near the entrance? The entrance is pretty big and wide open. The kind of place where you might expect a big bulky dragon to be able to fit, though I don't know to what extent that logic really applies under these circumstances. I'm not sure the designers really take that kind of thing into account. Sure, let's take the long way. Maybe we'll see something en route. You know, there's no anti-magic here. I should probably turn the lights back on, make it a little easier to see. No, no sign of them here in the entry area. Get out of here. I'm now at the point where I kind of want to find Asti and Dory before something tragic happens. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's no time limit or anything. Grum gained a level, gained luck, mediocre hit points, I'll take it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's not actually any kind of time limit, but uh, just for role-playing purposes, I kind of feel like I'm in a hurry. I mean, I don't even know for sure if they're still on this floor. They could have gone to another floor for all I know. Huh. Huh. Did I explore in this little closet? I don't remember. Okay. Not there. What about this big area? I mean, big-ish by the standards of this cramped place. Get out of here. Nope. I mean, we just found Asti in some completely random intersection. There wasn't anything special or distinctive about it. So, as far as I can tell, I mean, literally any single one of these squares could have the next part of the quest on it. Good lord, calm it down. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. I don't feel like dealing with it. Blazing Fist. How dare you survive? 
For the crime of surviving, I bestow upon you death. I guess bestow isn't really the right word. Normally you bestow good things on people. Your punishment is death. There you go. Calm it down. Starting to think they're not on this floor anymore. Bones. Okay, not there either. Whew, I've explored all this pretty thoroughly, haven't I? I can't think of anywhere major that I've missed, so if there's still on this floor at all, it's in this section. Or, or this one. One of these two to the east. That's a big if. Who knows if they're still on this floor. Nothing. That could have been a good candidate. It's kind of a big open room, but nope. Just a fight. I honestly didn't think it would take the entire video to uh, finish three quests that are all in the same area. Okay, why are these guys so tough? Piss off. Jeez. Great, and Seraphi got feared. That's irritating. I didn't think they'd be that tough. I don't think I have anything that can cure Seraphi either, because I think she's the only one who can cure it. Ugh, what a mess. We're just gonna have to wait for it to wear off. Well, I do have one item that can cure it, but it's a really, really good item that can cure basically anything, so I don't know if I want to... Okay, good. Fix the formation. There we go. Better. So, not in this area, then. So, it's here or on another floor, I guess. Either that or I somehow missed it. Despite having checked pretty thoroughly, I think. Oh, jeez. Forgot that that's a teleporter. Okay. I'm gonna guess they're on another floor, then. Maybe they moved to... Um, I'm gonna try here. The third floor. Okay, not here. Not here. Alright, let's try up here. Nope. Nope. Uh, we already had a quest up there, but I guess there's not a rule that there can't be two quests in the same location. Unlikely though it seems. Oh, this is a nasty group. Let's just Blazing Fist them. How dare you survive? Oh. 
Okay, I didn't really think so. Um, possibly here, in the dead end. Oh, Freisha gained at 21 hit points. And we got a Judgment Branch, which I think is an incredible item. I think. Anyway, we're saving after Aisha got 21 hit points. That's the most insane thing that's ever happened. Holy crap. Get out of here with your magic spells. Nope, not in that dead end. All right, let's check here. I want, I've never ever seen the quest text get updated, but let's see if that happened. No, just find and defeat the Dark Dragon. That's all it says. Okay, not there. We've checked nearly everywhere here on the third floor. Huh. Well, let's go back this way on foot just in case it's randomly in that long troll corridor. Unlikely though that seems. Yep, didn't really think so. No sign of it. Okay, second floor maybe is where the quest continues. Possibly. Oh man, so many places to check. It seems unlikely they'd place it in a one cell area on the other side of a door, but not impossible. Oh my god, this could be a TPK. We have been saving a lot. You can't use magic to deal with it. Aisha, I trust in your power. Okay, good. Because I'm pretty sure Medusa's eye, if you get really unlucky, can petrify the whole party. But she did it. Well done, Aisha. Good lord. Level for candy, 20 hit points, didn't lose anything. I'll take it. Bomb, okay. We got a tea table. Well, if we run into Principal Korolev again, that might be useful. <laughs> Seraphie's been going through enough mana that a level for her would be useful just so that she gets her mana back. Oh, for Wheeler, 12 hit points, didn't lose or gain anything. Not a great hit point roll, but... Oh, well, they can't always be. Did you perhaps move into this area? Oh, good lord, just have the auto move take us there. That would be a no. Okay, then. Uh, hmm. Well, let's get out of the anti-magic zone so I can teleport. 
Uh, whew. I don't know, man. Okay, we found it. We found it, finally. It's here. Seraphie's pretty low on MP. I wonder how far she has to go to gain a level. Okay, not long at all. I almost kind of want to grind another level for her. To, to get her MP fully restored before we get in this fight. It seems like the kind of fight that could potentially be pretty tough, I think. Alright, yeah. Let's just kind of go back and forth, fight some things. Medusa's eye. Well, just unlock it, Sherry, since we're not in a... Oh, New Jersey bottom. Actually, didn't didn't I discover that those are terrible because I made a joke about the state of New Jersey? They improve accuracy, so that's a good thing. Oh wow, it's just straight up better. No, it couldn't have been the bottom. It must have been the top. Okay, so who do I want to give this to? Probably Seraphi. Because she attacks more than... Sherry, because Sherry's spending so much time putting up the magic wall, so improving uh, Seraphie's accuracy seems better. Although, or I could put it on Aisha. Lowers her evade slightly, but possibly worth it? Yeah, and then give her long pants. Okay, I think that was a reasonable trade. Okay, fair number of enemies here. And if... Seraphi's going to be getting her mana back soon anyway. Let's have her hit them all with a boom. We haven't seen boom in a little while. <laughs> nice. Awesome. And there we go. Lost Vite, gained Agi, 24 hit points. Okay, not bad. Losing Vite's not great, but she got a good hit point roll. Mortal Strike, just unlock. Okay. Let's head back here. Emotionally prepare ourselves in case this turns out to be... Uh, tragic. Traumatic. All right, there, finally. Save, turn on some buffs. All right, let's do it. Okay, that is a much more evil looking Dory. I'm sorry, but that was not the kind of sound that a gigantic, terrifying dragon would make. <laughs> this is a common thing with Japanese voice acting. Instead of using sound effects or even post-processing beast and animal noises to make them sound more impressive, they'll literally just have somebody make a growling sound like they just did. And literally use that as the sound that it's ridiculous every time. Oh no, Asti! We need to step in and save her. Yes, exactly. Well, sorry, Dory. I didn't want it to be this way. You look like holy magic would be powerful, I think. Against you. Yeah, let's try some Powered Up Gleam. Awesome, we silenced it. 
Nice damage. Brandished a sword and charged at Aisha. I thought that's what it said the first time, too. Yeah. I think it's just using randomly selected attack messages that make no sense in under the circumstances. <laughs> Pretty sure that, uh, I, I don't see any indication that Dory is wielding a sword. Ah, uh, we don't seem to be having any trouble hitting it, so... Just join the attack, Grom. Thirty-one is not very good. We need to get him a better weapon. The Oni Slicer is just obsolete at this point. I think Aisha is doing more damage. Yeah, considerably more. Man, that's a lot. All right. Sorry, Dory. Didn't want it to be this way. Ultimate Bone. Uh, Asti, I don't think that's a healthy response to the situation. <laughs> I'm sorry, but <laughs> it's ruining the drama of the moment. Just having somebody growl into the microphone just does not work for dragon noises. Asti, value your own life more. Okay, this is getting weird, Asti. Oh, okay. Apparently Celestian Tears, or specifically Asti Tears, have miraculous powers. So, what could have been very traumatizing is turning into... Uh... Deus Ex Machina? I mean, Deus Ex Machina is not exactly correct, because it's not like a third party came in to save the day. But, uh... I don't know. This feels a little random. But I guess if it means that Asti doesn't get eaten or emotionally traumatized by Dory's death, that will run with it. Uh, sure. Let's go with that. Yeah, you could value your life enough to not offer yourself as a meal to your pet. You could thank me by doing that. Let's hope for that, I guess. A star fragment. I think that's pretty good synth equipment, or uh, synth material. Okay, bye, Asti. I'm glad that I'm glad that didn't end in tragedy, as it so easily could have. Let's turn in some quests and then call it a very long episode. Ah, this music is so good. But because this video is so long as it is, we're not going to stick around to listen to it. As cool as it is. Okay, back to Crostini. We have a lot to report. You know, I kind of feel like maybe we should save turning these in for the next episode. Okay. Too late. Yeah, let's just do it this episode, whatever. A heated soul. I mean, we pretty much help out everybody so much. I'm guessing that's going to become a plot point. Sounds good, Tiramisu. Bye-bye. Okay, well, we could call an episode here, but heck with it. Let's just turn everything in. Okay, 
Probably. Just hearing Tanjobi Omedeto Aru. <laughs> I understand Japanese just well enough to get a kick out of ridiculousness like that. Get get out of here, Giorgio. I can believe that. And then everyone died. Game over. Bad end. Oh, good job, Tiramisu. <laughs> Just eat cake. Boy, Pana inhales a lot of helium. I didn't realize this was going to be such a long cutscene when we turned this one in. We're definitely going over an hour. That's not how you spell too. Uh, what just happened? Uh, oh dear. Oh dear, that is not a power this Folia should have. That's a really splitting hairs distinction, at least to a, a Westerner like me. <laughs> I guess it's like the difference between saying you're not a knight, you're a swordsman. That's a legitimate difference. Pretty much a similar thing. ほら、みんなも見てるね。ん? This cutscene's so long. 
おめえがその陰謀をどっか他にやってくれねえことには先生のバカせっかくお祝いしてあげたのにプレゼントがいらないなんてひどいやるのおいおめえ一体何やって乙女心を無限にしたバツねしばらくそうしてるといいよそうしてるといいよってこれじゃ足土下座したままビドウダにできねえんだけど And Roshi ends up being the punching bag again. We got a gauntlet. And we, we got the Inro off his head, which means we have an Inro. Can we sell it for a lot of money? I forget, does it even do anything useful? Special resistance plus affinity release defense one. Seems like. Well, first of all, I'm not taking the permafloat stuff off these four characters. Uh, these four. So it could only go on Seraphi or. Okay, no. Or, um. No, not Seraphi. Yeah, yeah, Seraphi. She's one of the ones that floats. Or Aisha. No, we're definitely not taking off her Goemon's pipe. So, if we can sell it, we will. And it's not worth as much as I thought, considering it costs 440,000 to buy it, but it's not an in. Consequential amount. And now we have over 140,000 G, which is, you know, it's getting there. It's not bad. How about a gauntlet? You know what? I'm just going to save the gauntlet for next time. Let's turn in our last quest and call it a very, very long episode. Uh, oh! Is, is that one already considered done? Do I not have to turn it in? It's already considered done. We're done. I didn't have to turn it in specially. All right, we're not actually going to take any quests, but I just want to check to see which ones have become available, because presumably some have. After all that, yes. Ferocity Martial Arts Tournament, okay. And, oh, that's it. That's kind of surprising. Interesting. All right, well, anyway, yeah, that was long. Going to call it an episode there. Uh, I'm glad that things turned out okay for Asti and Dory, even if the way it happened felt really cheesy and contrived. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> all right, next time we see what this martial arts tournament is all about. I'll see you then.